Now let's solve the first question of third exercise. Given question is if the cost of 7 meter of cloth is rupees 294, find the cost of 5 meter of cloth. Let's do the solution. We have cost of 7 meter of cloth which is equal to rupees 294. This employs cost of 1 meter of cloth is nothing but total cost of 7 meter of cloth divided by length of cloth. This is equal to cost of 7 meter of cloth is rupees 294 divided by length of the cloth is 7 meters. This is equal to 7 goes in 294 by 42 times and cost of 1 meter of cloth is rupees 42. Now we have to find cost of 5 meter of cloth which is nothing but cost of 1 meter of cloth multiplied by length of required cloth. This is equal to cost of 1 meter of cloth we have got as rupees 42 multiplied by length of the required cloth is 5 meters. This employs rupees 42 multiplied by 5 gives 210. Therefore, cost of 5 meter of cloth is rupees 210. Moving on to the second question. Ekta earns rupees 1500 in 10 days. How much will she earn in 30 days? Let's do the solution. Given that earnings of Ekta in 10 days is equal to rupees 1500. This implies earnings in one day is nothing but earnings in 10 days divided by number of days which is nothing but earnings in 10 days is given as rupees 1500 upon number of days are 10. This is equal to 10 goes in 1500 by 150 times which gives us earnings in one day rupees 150. Now we have to find earnings in 30 days which is nothing but earnings in one day multiplied by number of required days. This is equal to earnings in one day we have got as rupees 150 multiplied by number of required days are 30. This is equal to 150 multiplied by 30 gives rupees 4500. Therefore, earnings of Ekta in 30 days is rupees 4500. Moving on to the third question, given that if it has rained 276 mm in the last 3 days, how many centimeter of rain will fall in one full week and given to assume that the rain continues to fall at the same rate. Let's do the solution. We have rainfall in 3 days is equal to 276 millimeter. This implies rainfall in one day that is per day is nothing but rainfall in 3 days divided by number of days which is equal to rainfall in 3 days is 276 mm divided by number of days are 3. This is equal to 3 goes in 276 by 92 times which gives 92 mm. Now we have to find rainfall in one full week that is 7 days. Rainfall in 7 days is equal to rainfall per day multiplied by number of days. This is equal to rainfall per day is 92 millimeter multiplied by number of days are 7. This is equal to 92 multiplied by 7 gives 7 multiplied by 2 is 14 and 7 times 9 is 63 plus 1 gives 
64 which is equal to 644 millimeter but given that to find rainfall in centimeter this is equal to 644 divided by 10 centimeter which is equal to 64.4 centimeter as we know that 1 centimeter is equal to 10 millimeter therefore rainfall in 7 days is 64.4 centimeter moving on to the fourth question cost of 5 kg of wheat is rupees 30.50 what will be the cost of 8 kg of wheat and what quantity of wheat can be purchased in rupees 61 let's do the solution given that cost of 5 kg of wheat is equal to rupees 30.50 now take down the first bit that is we have to find cost of 8 kg of wheat to find this first find out cost of 1 kg of wheat this is nothing but cost of 5 kg divided by quantity of wheat this is equal to cost of 5 kg of wheat is rupees 30.50 divided by quantity of wheat is 5 that is 5 kg this is equal to rupees 5 goes in 30.50 by 6.10 times which gives cost of 1 kg of wheat as rupees 6.10. Now we have to find cost of 8 kg of wheat. This is equal to cost of 1 kg of wheat multiplied by quantity of wheat. This is equal to cost of 1 kg we have got as rupees 6.10 multiplied by quantity of wheat is 8 kg this is equal to rupees 6.10 multiplied by 8 gives 48.80 rupees therefore cost of 8 kg of wheat is rupees 48.80 now take down the b bit we have to find quantity of wheat that can be purchased in rupees 61 to find this first find out the quantity of wheat that can be purchased in rupee 1 this is nothing but total quantity purchased in rupees 30.50 divided by total cost that is Total quantity purchased in rupees 30.50 is 5 kg divided by total cost is rupees 30.50. This is nothing but 5 upon 30.50 kg. This is equal to 5 goes in 30.50 by 6.10 times which gives 1 by 6.10 kg. Now we have to find quantity of wheat that can be purchased in rupees 61 which is nothing but quantity of wheat purchased in rupee 1 multiplied by cost of wheat this is nothing but quantity of purchase quantity of wheat purchased in rupee 1 is 1 by 6.10 kg multiplied by cost of wheat is rupees 61 this is equal to 1 by 6.10 multiplied by 61 kg this is equal to 61 upon 6.10 can be written as 610 upon 100 as after decimal we have two digits this is equal to 61 multiplied by 100 upon 610 0 in the denominator and 0 in the 100 of numerator gets cancelled and 61 in the numerator and 61 in the denominator gets cancelled which gives 10 kg therefore quantity of wheat purchased in rupees 61 is equal to 10 kg 
Moving on to the fifth question, the temperature dropped 15 degrees Celsius in the last 30 days. If the rate of temperature drop remains the same, how many degrees will the temperature drop in the next 10 days? Let's do a solution. Given that temperature drop in last 30 days is equal to 15 degrees Celsius. This implies temperature dropped in one day is equal to temperature dropped in 30 days divided by number of days as they have given that rate of temperature drop remains the same. We have taken the ratio here for finding the temperature dropped in one day. Now temperature dropped in 30 days is 15 degrees Celsius divided by number of days are 13. This is equal to 15 upon 30 degrees Celsius which is equal to 15 goes in 30 by 2 times which gives the temperature dropped in one day as 1 by 2 degrees Celsius. Now temperature dropped in next 10 days is nothing but temperature dropped in one day multiplied by 10 days. This is equal to temperature dropped in one day we have got as 1 by 2 degrees Celsius multiplied by 10. This is equal to 1 by 2 multiplied by 10 degrees Celsius. Here 2 goes in 10 by 5 times which gives temperature dropped in next 10 days as 5 degrees Celsius. That is 5 degrees Celsius. Moving on to the 6th question. China pays rupees 7500 as rent for 3 months. How much does she has to pay for a whole year if the rent per month remains same? Let's do the solution. Given that China pays rent for 3 months is equal to rupees 7500 and given that rent per month remains same. So first find out rent per month paid by China which is nothing but total rent paid for 3 months divided by duration which is equal to total rent paid for 3 months is rupees 7500 divided by duration is 3 months. This is equal to 3 goes in 7500 by 2500 times that is rent per month paid by China is rupees 2500. Now we have to find rent paid by China for a whole year that is for 12 months as we know that one year is 12 months. This is equal to rent paid per month multiplied by number of months. This is equal to rent paid per month we have got as rupees 2500 multiplied by number of months are 12. This is equal to 2500 multiplied by 12 gives 30,000. Therefore, rent paid by China for a whole year is rupees 30,000. Take down the seventh question given that cost of 4 dozen bananas is rupees 60. How many bananas can be purchased for rupees 12.50? Let's do the solution. Given that cost of 4 dozen bananas is equal to rupees 60. This implies cost of 1 dozen bananas is equal to cost of 4 dozens divided by 
number of bananas this is equal to cost of four dozens bananas is rupees 60 divided by number of bananas are four dozens this is equal to four goes in 60 by 15 times which gives cost of one dozen bananas as rupees 15 now we have to find number of bananas can be purchased for rupees 12.50 to find this first find out number of bananas that can be purchased for rupee 1 that is number of bananas purchased for rupees 15 divided by cost this is equal to number of bananas purchased for rupees 15 are 1 dozen divided by cost is rupees 15 this is equal to 1 upon 15 dozen therefore number of bananas that can be purchased for rupee 1 is 1 upon 15 dozen now we have to find number of bananas purchased for rupees 12.50 which is nothing but number of bananas purchased in rupee 1 multiplied by cost of bananas this is equal to number of bananas purchased in rupee 1 are 1 upon 15 dozens multiplied by cost of bananas are rupees 12.50 this is equal to 1 upon 15 multiplied by 12.50 dozens here 15 and 12.50 are multiples of 5 this employs 5 goes in 15 by 3 times and in 12.50 by 2.50 times which gives 2.50 divided by 3 dozens Therefore, number of bananas purchased for rupees 12.50 are 2.50 upon 3 dozens. We know that 1 dozen is equal to 12. This employs number of bananas purchased in rupees 12.50 we have got as 2.50 upon 3 dozen. This employs 2.50 upon 3 multiplied by 12 bananas which is equal to 3 goes in 12 by 4 times and 2.50 multiplied by 4 gives 10.0 this employs number of bananas purchased in rupees 12.50 is equal to 10